between the beginning of June and the beginning of July or even up to this point, you probably heard a lot of people talk about media reviews and doing a media review. But if you're like, hmm, so how do I do one exactly? That's what I'm going to talk about today. So before we get into today's episode, if you're not listening to this on YouTube, you may have received two episode notifications today and sent two episodes. I don't know what happened yesterday, but for some reason, the episodes published in ACAS didn't go through after it was published because my husband says he got the notification for yesterday's episode when it was published, but somehow it wasn't showing up on ACAS today and I noticed it when I was about to start recording this episode so just wanted to let you guys know that it was Eka's fault <laughs> if you didn't get an episode yesterday after you saw the notification for it because i did record and upload an episode yesterday that was episode 204 and this is the second time technology is failing me on this podcast but that's okay let's get into today's episode About 25 episodes ago, I did a sort of media review on the podcast, like media check-in, talking about how my year has been um, so far with my goals and everything that I am doing. And I realized that I also talked about doing a review 90 days into the year, quarter at at the end of the first quarter. But then I didn't actually share with you guys, like, okay, how do you do this? And I've been thinking about it for a while, like, should I do this episode on this topic because it's no longer the half of the year <laughs> while well, like way past half of the year at this point um but i'm like you know what it's my podcast and i can do what i want so today i'm going to be sharing some questions for you to think about to review your year so far i know we're, we're past the midway point of the year but it's never too late to do a review today is the best day to start everything so i'm going to share some questions and i'm going to link to a free pdf resource that you can use to see all these questions actually um you don't have to fill any form or anything you'll just be able to download it directly um so yeah let's get into the questions but before the questions the first thing that you need to do before you go into questioning and answering and reflecting is to gather everything and what i mean by that is you need to get out all the things you've been journaling your to-do list your habit trackers your photo history your calendar look through everything wherever you have things documented your notes app whatever tool that you use whatever that looks like look through all of those things to actually remember the things that you did and the things that happened this year so you may have gone on a trip that you've forgotten about or some experience that you don't remember that's why it's important to like gather all these tools wherever you track things whatever things you track and gather all of them together to review that's step one then step two is to if you haven't made a proper paper list like written it on paper your goals for the year please do that if you have make a list again rewrite them like write the list afresh and you can Um, choose to to group them into different categories can do like family finance career habits or you can make it like oh these are habits that i wanted to develop this year and these are the outcomes that i wanted to achieve this year and i talked a bit about the difference between habits and outcome goals in an episode about goal setting which i will link to in the show notes as well and then the third step is to then further split the goals into three columns or three categories Now, you're going to split into goals that you have achieved already, goals that you are on track to achieve, and goals that you have not started working on. So, I want you to actually pause this and make those lists now. Maybe you can leave the gathering, all the um, things, calendars and and photos and habit trackers and journals and all of those things for later. But actually take a moment now to actually write out your goals and group them into things that you have completed or achieved, things that are in progress or you're on track on, and then things that you have not even started working on. Right, so Afi, please do that. (laughs) Hi, it's me, reminding you to subscribe and also to send questions so that I have more things to talk about. The link to submit questions is in the show notes. Okay, let's get back into the episode. So have you done that? I hope you have. And now we go into the fun part. So the purpose of that first step is to allow you to actually see things that happen outside of your goals because you are more than 
all the goals you have set right and so there are general review questions that you ask yourself about those things from your journals and your habit trackers and your calendar and your photos like who or what sparked joy the most for you so far this year how can you keep doing those things or keep having those people in your life how can you improve those relationships the second question is the opposite of that who or what sapped your energy drained you and how can you remove those people or those things or as much as possible limit how much you interact with them in your life because sometimes you you're just there you can't necessarily leave immediately or remove those people immediately but how can you draw better boundaries how can you limit um the effect that they have on your energy number three what new behaviors did you develop and have they been helpful or limiting and if they've been helpful you you know that you want to continue these helpful habits and if they've been limiting or uh, making life difficult for you in some way then you know that you need to stop doing these things and build better habits and behaviors number four what new lessons did you learn so far this year and how can you apply them through the rest of the year number five how well did you take care of yourself and rest number six how well did you connect with your family and friends and loved ones number seven what are you most proud of from the year so far it can be achieving a goal it can be something else it can be anything and number seven i lost count what are the highlights for you so far from the year and that's it about the general review stuff now let's get into the goals those goals that you wrote down and categorized into things that you have achieved things that you're on track with and then things that you have not started at all for the things that you have achieved already for the goals that you've achieved already you need to reflect on them and say what steps did i take to achieve these goals and what factors outside of my control contributed to the success because something that we don't um we don't tend to think of often that's very important is to realize that sometimes things the reason why something worked out well for us can also be there are factors outside of our control that contribute to our successes so very important to keep this in mind um and then for the things what the third question for the goals you've achieved is what can you learn from your success on on maybe the approach you took or the results like what can you learn from it and think of how you can apply it going down the line and then fourth and most importantly have you celebrated your success have you celebrated the fact that you achieved this goal no matter how small or big very important to celebrate our successes then for the goals that you are behind on or that you're halfway through you're not on track with you need to ask yourself two questions number one do you need to let go of them do you need to change them maybe because your priorities have shifted maybe you experienced a life change that changed the direction of things you wanted to do maybe you just figure that this is no longer important to you so do you need to let go of them do you need to change them the second question you need to ask yourself is are they so important to you these goals that you've not started on these goals that you're not on track with are they so important to you and not to other people not because your mother your brother your husband your wife your sister your cousin your uncle your nephew your niece or somebody else said that it must be important to you but are they actually important to you do they fit into your life vision how you see yourself what you think about yourself what you want to do is it important to you so the next thing you need to do is you need to ask yourself are there any new things you want to do any new goals you want to achieve again maybe because there are new things you've learned about yourself about the world about your career about your family about your friends whatever and there are new goals you want to achieve in that line new things you want to do. which then takes us to the last part of the review which which is for your new goals and for the goals that you want to keep from the ones you set previously what are the behaviors and activities you need to change let go of or start doing so that you can make progress on these new goals or the goals that you already said before that you want to continue with for the rest of the year you also need to think about um what do you want to focus on like use that to determine what is your focus for the rest of the year and then you need to now pick which of these goals do you want to start with today this week this month create a, create a plan to work on the remaining goals whether new or a carryover from the first part of the year and what one step can you take right now can you take tomorrow morning to start working on the goals or to start doing the things that you want to do i know i said a lot of media on this pod on this episode but these questions and these steps can be used all year round you can use it every month every quarter whatever frequency you like um but just these are just things to because we're in the middle of the year kind of so yeah and that's it Thank you for listening. Good luck with your goal reviewing and goal setting and year reviewing and year planning. Let me know how it goes.
Bye. Thank you for listening to today's episode of A Couple of Things. If there was anything you found interesting or insightful or you enjoyed the episode, please do share to someone or multiple people. Like, leave a comment and definitely do subscribe and all the nice things. Bye.